Welcome back to ESPR Boxing's YouTube channel. Delighted, as always, to be joined by Niall and Paul. We are in debate mode. We are only a few days away from the massive undisputed heavyweight title fight between Tyson Fury and Alexander Rusik. Um, both Niall and Paul here will um, try not to come to blows virtually um, and we'll just we'll give both their opinions on why they think their guy is going to win. Um, Paul is going for Alexander Usyk um, to stay undefeated and beat Tyson Fury and become undisputed heavyweight champion um, whilst kind of holding all belts but one at the moment. Um, Null, on the other hand, is thinks that Tyson Fury is going to win um, for whatever reason. We'll, we will dive into it. Gents, good to speak to you. Love a good debate here at ESBR. Um, Niall, I'll go to you first. Give us one of your main points as to why you believe Tyson Fury is going to win on February 17th. First of all, I'm going to say just the, the size. I can't see Usyk kind of, as great as Usyk is, Tyson Fury is also a great fighter. You know, whether he gets the credit he deserves or not for that is, is kind of is up for debate. I don't think he does get the credit he deserves for being so good and, and so like at the size that he is so yeah i think he's an outstanding fighter and it's just the size i think might be too much for Usyk to overcome and not only the size it's that he's if you had to pick a heavyweight who would be the closest in skill level to, to Usyk, it's probably going to be tyson fury you know i, I might catch a, bit, a lot of flack for that i'm not saying that that he's similar that he's the same skill level to Usyk. he's not but he's the closest that you're going to get so i just think he's too big too long and too clever for Usyk and I can't see Usyk navigating the just the pure height and size and strength of the man I really can't so yeah that that'll be my first reason to be a mixture of size and skill that we've never seen Usyk come up against before so I just I, I think Tyson Fury will have uh, the edge in that in that regard but um I am looking forward to see how Usyk kind of deals with that size and and that uh that reach kind of great man kind of solve that puzzle you know and download that data like he does with everybody else so yeah size for me is the the number one factor size and the, the skill the skill level of Tyson Fury is just too going to be too much for me yeah I think Fury look one of his biggest strengths is he's just kind of a large man he's kind of just you won't find kind of many humans um his sort his sort his sort of size and I think as well as that one thing that's always been commented on Tyson Fury is his speed for someone of his size, you shouldn't be as quick as he is. I think people in the past have said he kind of has the has the movement and the footwork of a, of a middleweight. Um, and for someone who's six foot nine, he's come in kind of two seventy and above, um, or at least two six five and above his last his last handful of fights. It's yeah, it's quite it's it's not normal to be able to move to move like that. Um, do want to ask you now? He came in at two hundred seventy seven pounds for the for the fight against Francis Ngannou wasn't his kind of in his best shape there um do you think he will come at around that weight again significantly lower what sort of ways are you expecting him him to come out for this fight i can see him coming in heavy for this one to be honest with you i know as you mentioned he came in heavy for the Nganu fight and looked terrible but i don't think that was a weight problem i think that was more of a mentality issue for tyson fury in that one we might touch on it later in the video but I just think he has to impose his size and, and, and kind of bully him, it, you know, wear, him, wear Usyk down here, and especially up close, you know, in the clinch. It's going to be huge, a huge factor that size is, so I think he is going to come in heavy. Similar to how we, I know it's a totally different type of fury, but how we've seen him against a cruiserweight, an elite cruiserweight and Steve Cunningham, you know, he was leaned on him and just yeah, totally warm down in the clinch. So yeah, I think that's going to be crucial here as opposed to coming in lighter where he's, you know, he, he could try to outbox him. I think, yeah, bullying him in close is going to be key. So I, I'd, I'd be surprised if he didn't come in on the heavy side for this one personally. Yeah, yeah, we shall see. Not long, not long to go until we find out. Paul, what's your reaction to what Niall said here about um the size, Fury being too much for Usyk? Oh yeah, you, I mean, you can't ignore it. It's a massive factor. Absolutely, it, it is a huge factor. Um, but I kind of caveat that to the point of, yes, he's a lot bigger, stronger, heavier. Um, but will he be able to, you know, the Niles alluding to the fact that he thinks he's going to come in heavy. A lot of people are saying that Fury 
should be able to should be able to take or will take um, Usyk out. But you know he's not going to be able to walk. It's not as simple as walking Usyk down. You know it's not like he's going to just be able to walk him down, corner him, and take him out. You know Usyk's so slippery. We've seen him so many times before. He's just so difficult to kneel down and hit plane. He's just always moving for twelve rounds, always lighting his feet, moving around different angles. So he'll be very difficult, in my opinion, for Tyson Fury to just kind of, you know. Create an angle in which he can kind of corner Fury, so to speak, it's corner Usyk, sorry, um, and and get to him that way. That's just kind of I, I, in my for my for my kind of um response to now. But my first real point as to why I believe Usyk wins is down to preparation, and I'm not for one minute saying that I'm expecting Tyson Fury to perform in this fight like he did against Ngannou. That's like the worst version of Tyson Fury. I think he did take his eye off the ball. Preparation wasn't great for that fight. But I think when you look at when you look at the Ngannou fight, when you look at you thought Chisora um, before that, you look at Dylan White, you know, you'd say that the Chisora and White ones were totally un- non-competitive, kind of kind of non-events in hindsight, um, where he just went through the motions. So, you know, when was the last time Fury was really, really up against it? Um, against the top level heavyweight, yes, he got dropped by Ngannou and stuff. But the event, obviously, you know, I don't. I just think he took his eye off the ball in that fight. I agree. Whereas you look at Usyk, and yes, people were saying about the the low blow or the body shot for, against Dubois um, last year. Make of that what you will. But I think apart from that kind of contentious round, Usyk did get the job done, got the stoppage, and won arguably. Well, not not every round, but you know, 80, 90 percent of the rounds. I think up to that point. You look at the two Joshua fights before that. Again, people may be thinking that Joshua had the wrong tactics and stuff, but that's top level opposition for Usyk. So I think preparation wise, he just been fighting. You know, the better fighters coming in, coming into the fight, which will make a difference at both of their ages, because you know neither are spring chickens now either. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's a fair point. Does Usyk's inactivity concern you at all, Paul? He's been fighting once a year for the last five, six years now of no fault of his own. Obviously, there have been a variety of reasons that have kind of kept him out of the ring. But um, just the one fight last year against Usyk, the one fight the uh, previous year against Joshua, one fight the previous year against against Joshua as well. Um, is that a is that a concern to you? And like, I'm not, I don't want to kind of speak for now here, but you've got Fury, who obviously hasn't been up against the best heavyweights, but at least he kind of has been fighting the last 18 months or so, whereas Usyk, it's just been, it's been one, one, one fight a year. Does that concern you at all? I mean, it's a totally fair point. And yeah, I 100%, 100% see where you're coming from. I agree with that. I would be more concerned if it wasn't Usyk, that would make sense. You know, Usyk is a diligent professional. You can tell that when he's not fighting, he's not away ballooning up to a certain size or maybe living the life that Tyson Fury would live outside of the ring. I think Usyk is, you know, he epitomizes class and, and professionalism. So I think, you know, yes, he's maybe inactive um, in the ring, so to speak, but you can just tell from, from the man he is and the fighter he is that he kind of lives lives in the gym. So yeah, you know, to answer your question in response to your question, Elliot, yeah, maybe not 100% ideal, but I would be more concerned if he didn't live the life outside of the ring, which I think he does. Fair. Now, your response to what... What 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 Paul said to give it to us? Yeah, I well, it's it's hard to disagree really, and just on the the last question there of inactivity, you know, I always say inactivity is the worst enemy of a fighter. But as Paul mentioned, it was like it's just he's he's wired differently. He's he's not gonna he lives the life. He's not gonna kind of switch off. He's he's a genius at what he does, and he's. Has the burning passion for what he does, so he's. I, I can't see the inactivity being too much of a problem here, even though he's getting older. Yeah, you know he is getting older. He's had a long career, but uh, yeah, he's he's the ultimate pro. But uh, I can't see I can't see that kind of having too much of an effect. To be honest, to be honest with you in this one. Yeah, we'll see. I think like there's an issue here in terms of whether Fury is in decline or not. Um, and I think it's a difficult one to answer because we just haven't seen him in against the top heavyweight for a couple of years. So, look, it would be interesting to see the Fury now go up against the, the Wilder of two, two and a half years ago. Um, and it's just all the Fury now going up against, say, an Otto, an, an Otto Wallen. Um, 
but it's just it's a really it's a tr it's it's a tricky one. I feel like, and I feel like with the ages that both fighters are, it's hard to say where each are where where each are at in their career. None of them has, has tasted defeat. None of them has been in, kind of involved in too many wars. Um, so it's it's a tricky one. Um, Niall, what's your like? What's your second second point here as to why you're you're going for Fury to win this fight? Um, well, I've I've the sort of I was thinking, will I go for a a stylistic one or just a, a mentality pick here? So I suppose the stylistic one will say for for giving a prediction, but it just comes down to the fact that on the biggest night when the light shines the brightest, Tyson Fury delivers. You know, you you, you look bad against Ngannou, but it's just it's so hard to to pick against him. He went to Germany against peak Klitschko and nobody gave him a chance and even though it, was a, it wasn't the most exciting fight he got it done he shocked the world there he hit rock bottom in his personal life you know it looked like he was finished in the ring he com comes back and sooner than most people would have imagined he fought one of the most dangerous fighters probably of our generation in wild and he beat him you know we drew with him the first time obviously but that was quite dubious and then he went in and he beat him twice he said he was going to walk him down and knock him out and people laughed at him and he done it, <laughs> you know. So I just think when it matters most, on the biggest occasion, Tyson Fury gets it done. And as great as Usyk is, this is the biggest fight, one of the biggest fights of our lifetime. So I just find it so hard to pick against Tyson Fury in this one. I just think he's an absolute mentality monster, you know. You might not agree with what he, what he says sometimes. I don't kind of agree with some of the stuff he comes out with, but... In terms of fighting, he's just, he's worried so strongly that it's it's unbelievable. And I just think, yeah, on the biggest stages, he, he delivers. So, yeah, that's that's my kind of uh, cheerleading speech on Tyson Fury, why I think he's going to win this, just purely for the fact that I can't, I can't pick against him. I find it so hard to pick against him on these big occasions. I really do. There's, he's the man for it for me. It's, it, I just can't write him off. It's, it's one of those where, um, it feels like when Fury is expected to win, sometimes he doesn't turn up and perform that well, i.e. Otto Wallin, Steve Cunningham, Francis Ngannou, but he still finds a way to win. Whereas at times he's been doubted in his career, and you mentioned Klitschko, the world of fights, he turns up and rises to the occasion. Um, so I can't disagree with you. However, Usyk is another undefeated, another undefeated fighter. Um, but I don't think Usyk has been written off, or kind of, uh, or had people against him as much as much as Fury has. Um, Paul, we'll go, we'll go to you next. Give us your give us your other point as to why you feel Usyk wins. Yeah, first and foremost, a uh, uh, yeah, fair point from from Niall there. Um, I would caveat to that to say that Usyk is the same as you mentioned. He's kind of mm -hmm. risen to the occasion. On every on every time he's been asked the question, but yeah, my kind of second point really is just that I believe I firmly believe that we've seen the best Tyson Fury. Um, I think he's slowed down, um, in terms of both feet and his hand speed and his general demeanor in the ring. I just kind of obviously it's, it's you could say that's a style thing because he's not as light and agile on his feet as he used to be. He's more the front come forward style with um Sugar Hill Stewart and stuff. But I just think that he has. Um, slowed down. I think the fact that we've seen, yes, I know it was years and years and years ago, but he has admittedly had problems with the southpaws. Mm. And as he faced a southpaw as elite as this, a slick mover like Usyk, he's just a puzzle that's so tough to crack. And yeah, I just think that I've, I've mentioned I've mentioned the, the out of form kind of thing, and I just I just think that Usyk really takes him out of his comfort zone here, um, and is. I, I completely see where Nile's coming from. It is really difficult to back against Tyson Fury, and I do really agree with what Nile said there, like 100%. I do get where he's coming from, but I just think that if you're going to bet against Fury, Utsik's probably one of a very few select fighters where you think, yeah, actually, do you know what? I can see how he beats Fury. And I just think he'll take him out of his comfort zone, frustrate him, um, outbox him. And yeah, um, I, think he, if he, I think the fight will be close, but I, I just... Can't see anything but an Usyk victory. Can't see anything but an Usyk victory. No, fair enough. It's damning, damning words. Um, no, I'm going to give you the right to respond to what kind of Paul said. Paul obviously seems 
seems quite confident there. And like, what would you say if I said to you, look, Fury's achieved a lot in his career, but he's not faced a guy like Alexander Rusik. He's not beaten a guy like Alexander Rusik. And same with Fury, just no one's worked out how to beat how to beat too sick. Um, what would your response be to that? It's I know, I know like uh, I'm Team Fury here, but it is hard to disagree with that. You know, I have to like I agree with what Paul said. Uh, of all the fighters in the world, who was the best chance of beating Tyson Fury? It's absolutely Alexander Rusik, to be quite honest with you. And would it would it surprise me if he did if he did beat him? Absolutely not. You know, I think Fury's going to win, but. I think it's going to be very close, and as as Paul mentioned as well, he probably has slowed down. Whether that be due to age, length of career, or just the mm. the mix up and style with Sugar Hill Stewart, you know, he's more kind of aggressive now. But yeah, it's it, as much of a, as I'm Team Fury. Give us the credit where it's due. He's he's phenomenal, and he he is the one that has the best chance of solving this this puzzle of of uh, Tyson Fury. But as mentioned at the start of the video. Alexander Usyk has never faced anyone like Tyson Fury either. You know what I mean with the size, the length, the speed, and the IQ. Yeah. So it's a totally different ball game for Usyk too. So it's such an intriguing clash of styles, you know, and so much for both men to figure out here. But it's it's definitely the biggest challenge of either of their careers. Yeah. No Fantastic. matter who, no yeah. matter who you're picking, really. Yeah, yeah, for so, sure. I think. Most people would say these are the two kind of top heavyweights at the moment. We'll kind of see if Andy Joshua can get back in the mix later in the year. But um, look, it's just it's a massive fight, and look forward to seeing these questions answered. We're going to get onto predictions in a little in a minute, gents. There's one thing I'm really interested to get both of your opinions on. Um, there are some people who are saying that Fury can't win this fight on points, or it's very unlikely that he wins this fight on points, in the sense that. Usyk has just got like an incredible engine in the way that Fury doesn't and Fury won't be able to outpoint Usyk on the night and obviously will then have to win by stoppage if he does win. Do you guys agree with that? Do you disagree? Paul, I know you're like you're going for Usyk to win anyway, but um would you agree with that that if Fury if Fury is to win, you can only see that happening by stoppage or can you see Fury Fury winning by points as well? Yeah, not necessarily. I mean, I, I could see, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if, if Fury did. Well, obviously, I'm back on Usyk, as you say, but in terms of if Fury does win, I yeah, I could see it being on, um, on points. I, I really could. Yeah. Um, I hope I'm wrong, but, I, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if it was boring fight and he won on points. Um, I just hope that's not the case. But no, definitely, mate, I don't think it has to be a Fury stoppage. No. Do you, do, you, do you agree? Obviously, you actually are going for Fury here. What are you going for? Are you going for... Oh, we'll, we'll get on to predictions in a little bit, but yeah, what, what are your thoughts on that? On that kind of that statement that Fury can't can't win this fight on points? Yeah, I think it's quite crazy to be honest. I think he can definitely win the fight on points. He can he can absolutely outbox Usyk again. To go back to the last question, he's I as much as Usyk is the best chance of beating Fury. I think Fury is the one with the best chance of outboxing Usyk of anyone else in the heavyweight division. You know, just the IQ, the length, the mm. the speed, the jab. So I absolutely do think he can he can win this one on points and he'll box uh, Usyk over 12. But on another note, like if we're talking about Usyk, I think Usyk is the one with one way to win this fight and that's on points. I don't think Usyk could stop Tyson Fury. I'd say it's very, very unlikely for Usyk to stop Fury. So I think Usyk, the only way for Usyk to win this is on points, to be honest with you. Is, you know, but Fury could stop him or could... Could I point them over twelve? In my opinion, yeah. Look, I mean, that's, big statements are being being thrown around now. Um, so we'll we'll draw to a close now, gents. I want a a thirty second kind of sum up from both of you in terms of why your fighter wins this, um, with kind of a a prediction at that this stage. Now, gonna go to you first. Got thirty seconds to tell to tell the world why you think Fury wins this fight and 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 and, and a prediction from yourself. I think Fury wins because I said before he's too big, too strong, too too clever, and too fast for Usyk. And I think the key is going to be to the body. You know, everybody says about Usyk, he doesn't like it to the body. He finds it very uncomfortable no matter who he's in against. Mm -hmm. And when he's getting clattered to the body, off oh, Fury's going to feel it. So. I think it's going to be a very close fight, but I think Fury's going to wear him down to the body. And I'm actually going to say Fury stops him late. Fury I think stops Fury, Fury stops Usyk in rounds 9 to 12 for me. 
We shall see. Fury stoppage round nine to twelve. Paul, you've got thirty seconds. Go for it. Yeah, obviously, I think um, I disagree with that. I think Usyk's going to win, and I'm at this moment in time. I'm leaning. I'm leaning toward a points victory for Usyk. I just think that the southpaw style, the unorthodox nature of Usyk, the way he moves, he won't be able to nail him down. He's constantly going to be a moving target. He's never going to be standing still for Fury to kind of walk him down and, and, and get uh, let his big shots go. So, yeah, I think Usyk will just frustrate him, take Fury out of his comfort zone and beat him on points. Great. And we'll leave it there. Um, if you're watching this video, please do let us know what your prediction is. Let us know who you agree with. Do you agree with... With Null, you're going for a Fury stoppage as well, or are you going for a um a Nusik points win and you're going with Paul. Niall, Paul, thank you very much for your time. Um, and I will speak to both of you again very soon.